Welcome to this session on password security in SAP Business One. When a user logs into SAP, they must use their unique user credentials. It is possible to set a password security policy or use the Microsoft Windows user authentication for logon. This session focuses on setting password security policies in SAP. To set the password security policy, the system administrator can define this in administration, setup, general, security, password administration. You can choose one of the three built-in levels, low, medium or high, or use the custom option to define your own. We will create a custom option. The values specified in the following fields determine the security level. The field expiration after X days is the number of days until the password expires. Negative 1 means that the password never expires. The values for the predefined security levels are negative 1 for low, 60 for medium, and 30 for high. We will set ours to 45 days. Minimum length in characters, this is the minimum character length of a password. The password can contain between 4 and 10 characters. The values for the predefined security levels are 4 for low, 6 for medium, and 8 for high. We will set ours to 7. Minimum number of uppercase characters, this is the minimum number of uppercase characters that must be included in the password. The values for the predefined security levels are 0 for low, 1 for medium, and 1 for high. We will set ours to 2. Minimum number of lowercase characters. This is the minimum number of lowercase characters that must be included in the password. The values for the predefined security levels are 0 for low, 0 for medium, and 1 for high. We will set ours to 1. Minimum number of digits. This is the minimum number of digits that must be included in the password. The values for the predefined security levels are 0 for low, 1 for medium, and 1 for high. We will set ours to 2. Minimum number of non-alphanumeric characters. This is the minimum number of non-alphanumeric characters that must be included in the password. The values for the predefined security levels are 0 for low, 0 for medium, and 1 for high. We will set ours to 2. Password cannot match X previous passwords, X is a number between 0 and 10. When a password is changed, SAP Business One verifies that the new password is different than the last X passwords. The values for the predefined security levels are 0 for low, 3 for medium, and 5 for high. We will set ours to 3. Authentications before user account is locked. This determines the number of failed logon attempts that a user is allowed to perform before his account is locked. The values for the predefined security levels are negative 1 for low, 5 for medium, and 3 for high. We will set ours to 3. After a user account is locked, this user is no longer able to log on to SAP Business One. Only a super user can unlock a locked user. In order to unlock a user, the super user can unlock it in administration, setup, general, users and deselects the locked checkbox in the user's setup window. Once you have decided which password security level you will implement, SAP will generate an example password for the users when they are setting their new password. If a user's password has expired, he will be prompted to change his password upon login. Alternatively, if a user suspects that their password has been compromised, they can change their password at any time in the administration, setup, general, security and change password setting. This ends this session on password security. Thank you for your time.